If you're like me, you probably want to be able to check in on your car and make sure it's working correctly or diagnose why the check engine light has come on yourself. Today's tool from Top Diag is one that I picked up on Amazon because I wanted to try out one of these cheap code readers, also marketed as an OBD tool or scan tool, and see how good they were compared to the small Bluetooth modules that just plug into the OBD2 port. Today we'll give this a shot. As my subscribers know, in a previous life, I was actually in the automotive trade. I am a licensed automotive technician, although not practicing anymore. I am pretty familiar with this stuff, and I think we can give this thing a try today. We'll get it out to my car and test it real life. This is how the unit arrived from Amazon. Really nice blow molded case, really well packaged, really pro looking. For the price, it's pretty darn impressive. Really rugged plastic construction with rugged rubber coating on the outside. Pretty impressive little unit. It seems like it's made to hold up for a long time. Let's take it out to the vehicle and try it out. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. Alrighty, finally got a little bit of warmth today, if you can call it warm. And the vehicle's got to go in. Holy man, what a mess. Normally, my vehicle isn't this disgusting, but it's got to go in because we have a lazy battery, but we also have tire pressure monitor, service due, um, service wrench showing, I think that's just the services due. The oil life is down to nil. And in the meantime, I thought, what the heck, we can use our scan tool and hook up to the OBD2 port and we'll just see if there's anything that we should know about when it goes in. So this is the ultra cheapy, it calls it a, a scan tool here, but uh, it's not, it's, a, it's just a code reader. but. Actually, from my initial testing, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. This is pretty cheap and pretty nice compared to just the little um, Bluetooth ones. I don't know whether the video ever went live on my channel. I took the footage to do a video review of the Bluetooth ones. And uh, yeah, I don't know whether I ever posted it or not, but this is a good little unit. So far, so good. Anyway, let's try it today. There we go. We're up. So uh, we'll read trouble codes, see what we see. Shouldn't be anything. Uh, I haven't seen any MIL, no fault codes. So uh, that's reasonable. This is what I want to look at. Um, this is just have a look and see what pending diagnostic trouble codes there are. None. So all the, the drive monitors that are built in that monitor your systems as you're out on the road. Um, the monitors may have a pending code, um, hasn't met all the criteria to flag the MIL, the malfunction indicator light yet, but uh, yeah, nothing. So uh, live data, nothing to it. Um, ECU one, view all, and we'll just have a quick look at all the different PIDs. And uh, what, what we wanna look at, well, we don't wanna look at anything right now. The vehicle's ice cold, it's cold outside. Um, it's not going to give us a really good indication of what's up, but we, we can take a look at our fuel trims particularly. So fuel system one status, we're into closed loop now. So the vehicle is warmed up enough to get into closed loop. It's been, I don't know what my runtime is, a couple minutes. Short term fuel trim, we're taking away fuel minus seven percent so that's expected we we just started off ice cold so it's gonna be it, it will have run rich long term is what we want to look at so minus 2.3 so we're taking away two percent long term uh, that's not bad for a vehicle that's within what i'd expect for an older honda crv here uh what is this thing an 07 something like that um, RPM, speed, timing events, all the things you want to look at if you're doing a diagnostic and actually working through things. Um, in today's example here, I don't have much that I want to see. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, to quick spin through, calculated load value, 20%. 
Our, our fuel trims would have told us pretty much right away if we had a, a major problem or not. Um, we can uh, graph things, I believe we can, let's go out, and then we can graph, say, that's our, our load percentage, and pretty cool. And if we give it a little snap on the throttle, there you go. It's pretty, pretty neat. This, like, this is further, back in the day when I started with the Snap-on MT2500, this is way further ahead than what it was. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, we can look at freeze frame. If we would have had freeze frame, that's where we would have had, um, when we had a diagnostic trouble code, there might have been something in there. There wasn't. Um, smog test, MIL, O2 sensor stats. Uh, it's in the fuel menu. I don't even know. Uh, probably just all the different fuel stuff uh, that it can see. So fuel consumption, vehicle speed, airflow rate, engine RPM, fuel level, um, pretty low on fuel, down to 27%. That's backed up by my gauge and just below a quarter. So barrow is bang on 29.7 inches of mercury. That's right about what, it, what I'd expect here, atmospheric. And yeah, all the cool things. You can do a print. Uh, you have to download their software. This will store the information on this unit. And then you can take it inside and print the information. So if you were doing this for someone else and wanted to CYA, you could print this out instead of just taking pictures of the screen. The battery in this, uh, we get battery voltage. Cool. Uh, just voltmeter nothing to it handy to have though if you wanted to do a crank test or whatever this battery is kind of weak in this as you might have heard when it started uh, yeah some different settings for the unit uh, I think I've turned the beep off and yeah nothing to it pretty cool little menu that's a quick little review of the JD 906 uh, it's cheap it's well built feels good in the hands it actually feels like a diagnostic equipment uh, it's just a code reader generic one for obd2 stuff but i like it nice color screen the graphing functionality i think is really nice basic code reader for a few bucks that just seems to seems to work i i have nothing bad to say about it it's you could do the same or similar with just like a couple of dollar Bluetooth one in your phone, but if you want a, a rugged, heavy duty, like this is this is rubberized and yeah, it feels good in the hand. If you wanted a standalone unit to just plug in and set on the screen, set on the on the under the hood or whatever while you're looking for a vacuum leak or doing some tests, this will do the trick. Pretty cool.